Well, some positive news coming in from Manchester United as far as Greenwood return is concerned. As Manchester United is set to green light Greenwood's return. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Although it's not going to be going to be a walk in the park for Mason Greenwood, but there is a very huge chance that they are going to grant him a chance to return at Carrington and Old Trafford in the preseason. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner is the place to be. And this story has been all brought, <coughs> all compiled by Laurie Whitwell. Laurie Whitwell is a United correspondent for The Athletic. So Rock and David is my name. And guys, don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 12,000 subscribers and it's you who, is who are going to make as we reach this number now today we're also talking about evan ferguson you know a story came in earlier today that united are going to send scouts to really monitor <clears throat> or to scout evan ferguson as iran is playing france today but obviously fabricio roman has, gone, has also gonna have to confirm that it's not only today united have been keeping a close eye on evan ferguson and they are interested in the lad and he might make him he might make it to the list of players that Eric Ten Hag is looking on all four, all at in the summer. So I'm going to come in through with lots of stories here and just do one thing. Keep it United Matters channel. And let's see close to 100 likes smashed on this video because the more you smash, uh, the more you smash the like button, the more we find ourselves in a position of really, of really getting this video viral. Now, how did Laurie Whitwell start it? <clears throat> he told us that... Manchester United rejected offers from Turkish sides for Mason Greenwood as the club's internal investigation continues. Now, them, them denying Mason Greenwood a chance to go away and play on loan until the summer, <clears throat> that, is, that is around June, was an indicator that they are really so much positive in the player and they believe that he's going to come in through and do the needful. Because if they had no no thoughts of re-retaining the players or Mason Green service at Manchester United. They would have told him, all right, go and play away in, in Turkey. And after playing away in, in Turkey, you'll find yourself in a position of finding yourself a club. But it looks like they are so much interested in him. Eric Ten Hag has talked to him several, several times. They are taking him through rehabilitation, rehabilitation uh, processes. And uh, he's talking to United players. So it shows you that Greenwood is really one of those players that the club is really in belief or in believe for him to return to Manchester United. Then, Lori Whitwell again confirmed to us that some at some some at United, even Phil Greenwood could play for the club again, going down the path <coughs> would cause a national moral conundrum and also trigger a sporting debate. Sponsors have privately expressed concerns about a return of Mason Greenwood. Now, <coughs> you know, We've seen this happen, and Greenwood has handled this very well. You know, he started to release photos with his girlfriend uh, escorting him for antenatal care. He's turned into this responsible man, and he's planning even a wedding to marry the girlfriend officially. So as it stands, Greenwood is scoring highly against all those people in the public court that believe he shouldn't be given a second chance everything that he's doing is really trying to really improve his picture in the public eye so he's really doing it great and sponsors privately expressing concern you know <clears throat> united will look at these sponsors and see how much are we losing from the sponsorship deals you get and how much are you going to compensate Greenwood? because if, you have to, if, if they are to really go ahead and uh, <coughs> terminate the contract of Greenwood they might see themselves really compensating him close to 50, <clears throat> all north of 50 million pounds. Now, I don't believe that these main main companies will go ahead and really say we don't want Greenwood because Greenwood is innocent, you get? And the cases we are dropped. So, which, which case are you putting on Greenwood? He's happy with the woman that came ahead and really said that Greenwood had really assaulted him and really beat her up. So, those things are null and void they no longer stand and i've seen very many people at, I've, I've seen very many people saying that he shouldn't return others say he should return so the opinion is going to be divided but that doesn't really give you a chance to really say that he's not going to return and obviously you can't go out and really go to the extreme end that is going to return but to me i'm telling you that united are set to green light greenwood's return in the pre-season <clears throat> 
Again, Laurie Whitwell has told us that one source believes this experience has changed Mason Greenwood. He could run through a brick wall to be back playing for Manchester United. Now, some at United even feel he could play for the club again. So, <clears throat> the experience that has gone through has gone ahead to really change Mason Greenwood because he was not an easy, an easy player. I'm going to show you things that he was doing at Manchester United at his age. And obviously, you are going to know that he is really a terrible boy. But you know how <clears throat> fame, well, you know what film comes with. And when you get such problems, they just tame you into a proper person. And I think Greenwood has gotten to know that if he doesn't control himself, he might lose out his talent. And obviously, he won't really reach those levels that he's supposed to be playing on. So they believe that he's going to pass through a brick wall. Obviously, he has to pass through a brick wall to come back and fit into that Eric Ten Hag system. Do you know why? However talented he is, he has taken close to <clears throat> one year and some good months without playing the game of football competitively he might be training and keeping himself shape and maintaining himself in shape or keeping himself fit but that that does not tell us that when he steps on the field of play to really play competitively he's really going to be that mason greenwood that we saw close to uh, is it one year back one and a half years back so i think they're really right that he has to pass through a brick wall but saying that he could even play for the club again is something great that a correspondent who is being briefed in by the club is being given such information and to me i believe that united is preparing the fans for the for the comeback of greenwood and greenwood is really going to return according to me he is really going to return and we are going to see him under eric ten Hag. you know when you look at the scenarios and the pyramid all according to how the bricks are building up into this scenario it shows you that it's being it's being planned for greenwood to return they are laying a soft grounding for mason greenwood such that you guys don't come out and really slate him you get so i believe he is really going to enjoy his return at old trafford because he's being brought into a very good way now let me show you how terrible greenwood was greenwood <coughs> being told his representative has told us that there is no real substance to any of this. It, it's being a mix of old news, speculation, half-truth, and completely uncertain claims. Green was 21. He has been cleared and should be allowed the opportunity to rebuild and move forward with his young life. And, you know, one of his representatives is really making a very valid point. Now, if United don't want Greenwood... Why did they not allow him to go away to play at loan in Turkey? <laughs> That's it. One. Secondly, Mason Greenwood is young. You get? He was relieved of those cases. He was proved innocent. Then, how come that people are really still considering that something valid to really stop the carry of the boy? You know... <clears throat> Let's be considerate, you get? People will say the images that are going to keep on social media. But the person who put out those images right now is sleeping in the same bed with Mason Greenwood. Greenwood even impregnated her when they were still on, when Greenwood was still on bail and was hindered from really, from really even meeting up with, with Rob, Robinson. You get? Is it Robinson Harriet? So that is it. So to me, let no one lie to you that this is not going to happen. It's really going to happen. You get? Because Greenwood will come with a girlfriend at Old Trafford and even wave to you, the fans. What are you going to do? You get? What are you going to do? You get? Because they are moving together. The girl is at the college and she's pregnant. Greenwood drives her every morning for the college to go and do her course. And she's soon giving birth. To a child of Greenwood. Greenwood is also planning a wedding. So you guys, let's not even give this give these things attention because <clears throat> the what the accuser is now in good terms with Greenwood. So I think we are fooled, and obviously we took we took our we took our stand. But obviously the accuser just pulled out of the case. You get. And the prosecutors couldn't continue with the case. So, I see no reason as to why we should really give these things more attention. Because attention is not really deserved, according to me. 
But these are the things that Greenwood did that were really crazy. We've been told that during lockdown, police traveled to Carrington to ask the club to check Mason Greenwood, who repeatedly broke the rules by breaking curfew or hosting parties. But I think he would have been arrested. I think there is one who was arrested. Um, was it Calmson Odoi? And who, who, and Sancho, who really came in through and really attended a party, you get when it was during the COVID time. And I think breaching the rules of COVID, then that called in for a punishment. Why didn't they arrest him? Why did they have to go to Carrington and tell and ask the club? I think this one is not really good. That's why there is athletic, no Laurie Whitwell, because everything that Laurie Whitwell has put out that is really a fact, he has gone ahead to find himself attaching his his name but this time around the athletic has owned the story so it shows you that this is really loose 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 allegations and i won't take that and there is this one also which will confirm to us that <clears throat> oliguna Sosha shielded greenwood in press conferences and dismissed reports he had twice been late for training but his attendance at carrington in general was a concern more than once staff members had trouble establishing his exact whereabouts i understand this even ganacho was going through this process and you know this is one of the things i've always coming come i've always came out and hinted on that eric ten Hag is a blessing to Manchester united because look at the likes of marcus rashford Coming in for the prep of the game against Wolverhampton Wanderers that we won one nil away from home, Rashford was benched. He was punished. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer just led these players to really act as they wanted because even when they breached the rules, he just smiled on, beaming like a cat, and obviously gave them a chance to start. And I think the best manager to groom Greenwood into a player I want him to be is Eric Ten Hag. And I think he cannot come into the camp of Manchester United and act like that because... By the time he's going to be coming in through, Eric Ten Hag will get the rules and send them to and send them on his email and tell him, please, if you're willing to obey to my rules, you'll come here and play. If not, you're not going to play. Because even Ganacho, he missed out on the entire preseason. He never played a single game. You get? Do you know why? He was coming late twice on the training sessions. And Ten Hag tamed down his ego. That is Eric Ten Hag for you. And I think if at all Greenwood is going to act like that, Ten Hag is the best person to come in through and really tame him into a player that we want him to be. Then, again, Greenwood leveled the same criticism at Cristiano Ronaldo when he was still at Real Madrid and he said he's dead. Greenwood once said, implying he was finished in teenage vernacular. Staff corrected him and considered his mentality that of useful delusion. But, let me ask you, is he the first person to say that Ronaldo is naked? You get? We've seen, we've seen very many, we've seen Jamie Carragher, Thierry Henry, and very many others going all out on <clears throat> public media houses like BT Sports, Sky Sports, Bain Sports, saying that he's naked. So is that a problem? So to me, it's something easy. And you can come out and say whatever you want about a player because everyone is entitled to his own opinion. I've seen players coming out and slating their fellow players that they play within the same team so to me that's not news and it's not something i'm going to come here and really even argue about so to my understanding i really believe that it's really something great that we should go ahead and really enjoy in here at Manchester united and let's not even go backwards because if you are to go backwards do you know how many players at Manchester united are playing there currently that have gone ahead to really do stupid things Br rashford you get harry Maguire, you get Mm, look show. So all of those players that were at Manchester United last season had things that they've done that are really punishable. You get? But let's embrace the new era of Eric Ten Hag and let's put all that at our back and let's go forward. Let's go forward. If the club says Greenwood is okay to return, let him return and he's going to become a better player. Now after Greenwood, United is into <coughs> is into a very heated heated moment of really getting the next number nine at old trafford and they are really in for a player <clears throat> for player for a list for a long list of players victor oshman um, hojland um, ramos goncalo hurricane vlahovic every tom dick and harris been linked to Manchester united and there is this other young lad known as evan ferguson 18 years of age playing at playing at Brighton and scoring goals for fun and obviously we are told yesterday that 
This was broken by at Sunsport. Manchester United will send scouts to watch Evan Ferguson play against France today. The game is on today. Then Fabrizio Romano later came out and confirmed us that United, along with other clubs, have sent scouts to follow Evan Ferguson two or three times over the past few months. Meaning that this is really a valid source telling us a valid story about Evan Ferguson that United are in for Everton Ferguson. For me, I think... <coughs> However much, Evan Ferguson is a good player. He's at a team that is not good to negotiate with when it comes to selling players like Evan Ferguson. I believe Evan Ferguson is not going to be let out this summer. I think he's going to stay for one or two seasons and then he's going to be sold. To me, the three players I think are going to leave Brighton are Kesido, <coughs> McLeister, and Mitoma. Those three are really leaving. If not three, two will go. Two will go. But Kesido topmost, <coughs> Makalista, and Mitoma. You get the entire world is really paying a keen eye onto those players. And I believe they are going to leave the club and obviously find themselves elsewhere to play the game of football. But Evan Ferguson, I don't see him leaving. I don't see him leaving. I don't see him leaving because he appreciates the club. He appreciates the club. And it's not like Wayne Rooney because Wayne Rooney came at Manchester United when he was around 18 and he had just played, I think, for two and a half seasons for Everton. That's when we signed him. So Evan Ferguson has really made his debut season. I think he still needs to stay under Dezabi to find himself in a position of really maturing and obviously green lighting himself for the next move but scouting him is great because scouting doesn't mean that the club is interested they just want to have a great number all a great all a va all a a vast scoop of players to choose on because if i told you an elite club you should be having a minimum of three players in every position you want to sign like in united if i told you want a goalkeeper you need three goalkeepers that you are scouting a minimum you can even scout 10 then cdm you need like three or four um a striker you need like four or five and the good thing is that we are having very many onto our exposal for us to pick who to sign and who not to sign so guys thank you very much for watching through telling me your thoughts about united to green light Greenwood's return as revealed to us by rory whitwell and what are your thoughts about evan ferguson who came out and said that he grew up admiring Daniel Welbeck at Manchester United and that makes him, trust me, a fan or a supporter of United. So, thank you for watching and through. Muslims, enjoy your holy month of Ramadan and Christians, may the Omad Lord bless you abundantly as you head or approach Easter. Rukan David is my name, lastly. And guys, second video of the day, more is yet to come. I'm out.